guys, welcome to Alice Door Adventure, and I'm glad you found your key. Today I'd like to talk about what is in front of my camera today, and it's two crafts. I am so excited to show you this today. First, I would like to talk to, about the little Cinderella coach. It is actually a wooden puzzle that I painted and um, it took me mm, two hours to do the little um, coach it is a um, like I said a wooden puzzle and I painted it really had fun painting it and given it its detail. It did come with the detail already on it. I don't know if you can see it. Whoops, to, uh, but I gave it the glittery effect. I don't know why my uh, lighting went low, but I'm sure you can still see it. I just love it. It's beautiful. Even has candles in there, but they're so tiny that you can't see in the lanterns right here. Um, some of the wheels do still move. Some of them don't because being wood, it it was really hard, and I had to paint it. it has a crown on top. This is where the footman stand. There's her seat inside. But I just loved it. And it it's wood, but I painted it. And it took me mm, maybe four hours to paint. You can tell, see there's wood right there. I didn't paint the bottom because not walled the bottom, but but I just wanted to come on today and show you the little details. I love this. But I got it off of Amazon and it was 156 pieces to put together. It's all wood. I did break two pieces off of it. One of the, the bars right here right here I broke one at the top and then one of these right here this this detail right right there I snapped it right in half it, it had little holes that you push this on so that's the only glue everything else has not been glued everything else fits really nicely together and there's this breaker, the little brake for the wheels. But I really had fun doing this and it kind of adds to my collection. But I just wanted to show you this and it has a little glitter effect to it but I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but uh, I loved it. I love it. It's so pretty. Now this castle here, this picture of the castle, let me move the coach out of the way, put it over here, is one of those um, scratch where it's totally black and then you take a um, wooden tool, I'll get you out the tool, wooden tool, and you scratch off all the blue lines like see the um carousel over here you scratch all those lines but i didn't want to do that i just wanted to show mainly the castle and the fireworks so you take this tool and you scratch off all the blue or gray areas and then it reveals all these beautiful colors underneath i'll pick up my camera real quick so you can see the fireworks 
and it comes in this beautiful envelope but see how you scratch like the carousel and all the background and it reveals the color because in this one it doesn't see mine I never finished it because I didn't want to finish it I just wanted a really focal point was the castle and the um, fireworks So it can look like this. See the fireworks? And then you can scratch off that blue and it reveals the colors underneath. Like for the carousel. And then the city. And stuff like that. So there's stuff under here. But I decided not to do that because I really wanted the, on mine, the castle to stand out. And you can choose to, oh, it's going to keep on falling down. White Rabbit, you're not doing your job. He's peeking. <laughs> He's the one that's holding up the, the picture. But um, I just wanted to come on today and show you this beautiful picture of um let's see if I can straighten that out a little bit there the castle picture which is um totally black all except the, these fine blue details and then you take that like I said this tool right here and you scratch off delicately um each line dot shape but I didn't want to do that for the castle because I like the castle to be, you know, stand out more. And then also my little coach, which kind of looks really pretty, sitting right there. <laughs> I love it. It looks really pretty together. But that's what I came on to show you today. Um... I don't have really anything with my collection that's really one or two things. I, I click all different kinds of things. Things that really stand out to me or I really like. Um, I really don't have a collection of just anything. I mean, I have shirts and I have plushies and I have... <clears throat> Um, little statuettes, um, I have, um, I don't know, I have some books, I have, I think, three old records, um, I have, um, a, a toys, a little bit of toys here and there, so I really don't have a Pacific... Um, collection is whatever catches my eye whatever makes me happy and I think that's what Disney is about anything that makes you happy makes you feel good it could be a color of something a shape or something um, it could be a character or um, it, I mean anything um, I collect keychains and um, I have a couple videos, movies, VHS tapes, and uh, DVD tape, DVR, DV Ray or whatever it's called, um, tapes, CDs. <clears throat> I do have some music CDs. Most of them are Christmas related. I do have some Christmas movies and stuff like that. Um, I also, not only I collect Disney stuff, I also collect, um, collect, um, Precious Moments stuff. I love Precious Moments stuff. And I only have one Precious Moments, um, that has, is Disney related or Mickey Mouse related. But I want to just come on and show you this. I just thought... You guys would get a kick out of this. I really, really love, love this. I wish all the wheels turned, but um, a lot of them are probably painted. Let's see which ones turn. None of these. <laughs> I think... 
see they turn a little bit but I want to force it and then this one kind of freely spins but it's not to play with so but I just wanted to come on today I don't know if you can see that little shine glimmer right there but that's through the whole whole thing but this is my favorite thing out of even the picture because the picture is kind of pre-printed you know because um, it already has the design on it and you just use like I said use this tool and you scratch in the lines I don't know what the name of that kind of artwork is I remember in kindergarten first grade or something like that um, our teacher had us color the background with crayon all different colors and then color it again on top black I think it was an art class or something and then she told us to scratch with maybe a tool like this or something else and scratch it and you made your own little designs and everything um, and the color comes through from the back to the front so but I just I enjoyed it it didn't take me very long um, maybe an hour or so maybe two hours or so you know but you know I just I had fun and that's what matters is to have fun with your your crafts and everything but I just wanted to come on and show you my little artsy craft what I've been doing during this quarantine kind of thing um so because I am pretty much quarantined to the house almost 24 7 because of my husband's cancer so I can't really go anywhere so I've been getting stuff to give me something to do because <laughs> I'm going stir crazy but um, his health is more important and my health is important so um, staying home is the best option for us so all right guys I'm gonna let you go and thank you for bringing your key I know rabbits behind here let me move this out of the way here he is Mr. Pushy all right guys take care thank you for watching make sure you like subscribe and comment at the bottom and make sure you knock on that bell thank you take care and make sure you always bring your key on the next time you come thank you have a great day bye now